What do you do when you love the exciting driving dynamics of the playful mini hatchback but need more passenger and cargo space than it provides? Luckily, the 2017 Mini Countryman embodies the spirit of its diminutive siblings in a package that makes it easy to share that experience with your friends and family. The fully redesigned Mini Countryman is longer and wider than its predecessor, with more headroom, legroom and cargo room than before. The base four-cylinder engine in the previous model has been replaced by the turbocharged three-cylinder found in other Minis, while the optional Turbo 4 offers more horsepower and torque. Current generation Mini interior design is finally incorporated into the Countryman, the speedometer is now in a normal position in front of the driver and the central display is now a touch screen. The 2017 Mini Countryman retains the features that made us like it in the first place. The 40-20-40 split second row slides and reclines, allowing rear passengers to make full use of the compact dimensions. Interior materials look and feel like they are worth the price premium Minis command. The stylized cabin design is also undoubtedly more interesting than those of the Countryman's reserved rivals. Whether you view it as a family-friendly Mini or simply a unique alternative to competing small crossovers, the 2017 Countryman is ready to take you on your next adventure. What's new the 2017 Mini Countryman is fully redesigned. The regular Cooper and Cooper S versions debut first, with the plug-in hybrid arriving midway through the model year. Highlights for the 2017 Countryman include new styling, upgraded engines, and a revamped and roomier interior. There's no doubt the standard Countryman Cooper is a good deal. Smaller Mini models such as the four-door hatchback and Clubman have a similar price when equipped to the Countryman's starting configuration. Though the base three-cylinder Cooper engine is perfectly acceptable in the smaller minis, it might be a bit outmatched if you're frequently using the heavier Countryman to haul around people and cargo. We'd go with the Cooper S the significant increase in performance, Mini estimates a two-second difference in the sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, makes it worth the upgrade in our eyes, and we expect fuel economy between the two engines to be very similar. Trim levels and features the 2017 Mini Countryman is a sporty and fun alternative to the standard set of small crossovers and wagons. The Countryman earns the premium price tag it carries by offering a substantial list of standard features, and a plethora of available options allows buyers to customize the Countryman to their heart's content. The two trims, Cooper and Cooper S, have similar feature content but are differentiated by the engine's underhood. Whichever you get. You'll be rewarded by a Mini that prioritizes passenger space and driving thrills in equal measure. Powering the base front wheel drive Cooper trim is a turbocharged 1.5 litre three-cylinder engine, 134 horsepower, 162 pound-feet of torque, matched to your choice of a six-speed manual or six-speed automatic transmission. On the all-wheel drive country Manor 4, the automatic transmission has eight speeds. You get a lot of features with the Countryman, including 17-inch wheels. Summer performance tires, automatic wipers, heated mirrors, a heated windshield wiper system, roof rails, a panoramic sunroof, keyless entry and ignition, a rear view camera, rear parking sensors, adjustable driving modes, height adjustable front seats, 40 slash 20 slash 40 split rear seats, faux leather upholstery, dual zone automatic climate control, ambient lighting, Bluetooth, a 6.5 inch display screen and a 6 speaker audio system. Our pick is the Cooper S, though. It has a peppy turbocharged 2.0 litre four cylinder engine, 189 horsepower, 207 pounds to feet, mated to a six speed manual or an eight speed automatic. It also gets 18 inch wheels, lead headlights and fog lights, and front sport seats. All wheel drive is optional. Though both Cooper and Cooper S typically draw from the same pool of options packages, the sport package is unique to the Cooper. It includes the 18-inch wheels, LED headlights and fog lights, and sport seats from the Cooper S, along with adaptive suspension dampers. Every other package can be outfitted to either model. For those looking for additional luxury and storage features, there's the convenience package, rear armrest, vehicle alarm, cargo divider, and a choice between a cargo area flip-out seating cushion or spare tire, and premium package, power adjustable front seats, a 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, tinted glass and a hands-free power liftgate. The technology package includes a wealth of upgrades, including an 8.8-inch touchscreen, navigation, a head-up display, wireless phone charging and an automated parallel parking system. The fully loaded package includes all four above packages plus satellite radio and auto-dimming mirrors. 
If appearance-oriented upgrades are more your thing, the John Cooper Works interior package includes a unique steering wheel, sports seats, if not already equipped, a black headliner and JCW branded decorations, while the JCW exterior package adds 18-inch wheels, a rear spoiler, additional stability control choices and aerodynamic modifications. Many of the above options can be ordered separately. Additional standalone options include 19-inch wheels, all-season tires, leather upholstery, steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, automatic equipped Cooper S models only, and exterior and interior styling modifications. Trim Tested has not yet driven any version of this vehicle. The following is our first take on what's significant about it and what you can expect. Driving Mini estimates the Cooper's 0 to 60 miles per hour time at 9.3 to 9.5 seconds, depending on the powertrain. If true, that's about average for the class. But the Cooper S, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.0 seconds, should be right at the top of the performance charts. For either version, we expect handling to be nimble and eager. Comfort though we haven't driven the newest Countryman yet. Past experience with minis has us ready for comfortable sports seats with plenty of adjustment. But it's also possible that the Countryman will have a comparatively rough ride quality because of the sporty suspension tuning and run flat tires. Interior minis interior materials are of a considerably higher quality than anything you'll find in this budget-friendly segment. Cloth, simulated leather and leather upholsteries are BMW grade, and the toggle switches and circular design elements give the Countryman a unique look and feel. Utility The Countryman's cargo area measures 17.6 cubic feet behind the rear seats. This is more than in the Mazda CX-3, about the same as in the Chevy Trax and Jeep Renegade, and quite a bit less than in the Honda HRV. With all the seats folded down, capacity increases to a more respectable 47.6 cubes. Technology Mini Central Display Unit is powered by an adaptation of BMW's iDrive infotainment system. Previously only accessible by using the controller mounted behind the shifter, the system now features touchscreen capabilities.